In this episode, we are going to learn the 25th strategy. The name of the strategy is Stealing the beams and pillars and replacing them with rotten timbers. Welcome to subscribe to the 36 Stratagems channel, comment or send us an email and you will get an ebook about 36 stratagems on sale. Disrupt the enemy's formations, interfere with their methods of operations, change the rules in which they are used to following, go contrary to their standard training. In this way you remove the supporting pillar, the common link that makes a group of men an effective fighting force. Beams and columns are crucial components of building structures, providing stability and support. They are typically made of thick, strong, and straight materials such as wood. The stability of a building relies heavily on the integrity of its beams and columns. If the beams are weak, the structure may collapse, and if the columns fail, it can also lead to a collapse. According to legend, during the spring and autumn period in ancient China, the ruler of the state of Jin's desired to construct a tall palace. The carpenter in charge of the construction saw a high-quality, large pillar and decided to steal it for his own use. Over a period of time, the carpenter secretly stole one big and long pillar from the palace each night and replaced it with shorter beams. Once the palace was completed, the carpenter collected his reward, sold the stolen pillars, and fled with the ill-gotten gains. Shortly after completion, a strong wind blew and the palace collapsed. When the ruler investigated the matter and went looking for the carpenter, he found the carpenter's house empty. This story has led to the proverb, stealing the beam to replace the column, which metaphorically signifies the act of improperly substituting essential parts of things to achieve personal goals, thereby altering the nature and essence of the original object. Here's another example. In a scenario of a criminal serving a life sentence, he bribes the corrupt guard Jack to help him escape. Jack finds a young man who closely resembles the criminal and convinces him to take the criminal's place in prison. Using chaos and laxity as cover, they conspire to switch identities and escape. The next morning, the prison authorities discover that the criminal serving a life sentence has vanished, leaving behind the innocent young man who was in prison for a minor crime. The criminal successfully switched identities and escaped from the prison. In the case of Samson from the Bible, he was a renowned judge and mighty warrior of Israel. Samson possessed great strength and once killed a lion with his bare hands. The Philistines, seeking to defeat him, used Delilah, a beautiful woman, to seduce him and discover the source of his strength, his hair. While Samson was sleeping, they shaved off his hair and captured him. Samson became a slave, enduring suffering but eventually regained his strength. In the enemy's temple, with both hands, Samson pushed and brought down a large column, causing the temple to collapse, leading to mutual destruction with his enemies. This story further emphasizes the significance of beams and columns in the survival of structures. Given the critical role that beams and columns play in building construction, it is crucial to protect them from individuals with ulterior motives who may compromise their quality or replace them with inferior substitutes. In the next episode, we will start the 26th strategy. If you want to listen, please subscribe to this channel and you won't get lost.